The rap game is back for season three, and this time around, Jermaine Dupree has a few surprises for the group of talented teens. I just wanted to see if Tally actually was bad as I thought she was, or if she was good as I thought she was from the beginning. I mean, you know, and Brat told me that when she first started trying to rap, that she rapped for Puff and she messed up, right? So I think that if you stumble in an introduction, that shouldn't be a reason for you to be hindered from trying to move forward if you've got the talent to go move forward. There may be one veteran in the house, but the newcomers are bringing the heat as well. King Roscoe, DeTranada, Nova, and Flage are ready to be the next big thing in rap, even if they think they know it all already. The kids this time around, do you think they're more talented than last time? Do you think they're more hungry? Like, what is it about this group of kids? They're more educated about the show, so it makes them seem like they're more talented. They, they have an idea of like, you know, I know Nova, when he first shows up, he's like, this is the room that J.I. slept in. Like, they know so much about the show, so they come prepared thinking they know exactly what's going on and try to move. I know what he's going to do, basically. For my generation, it sometimes feels like that group doesn't pay homage to the greats. Or don't, they don't take the time to really educate themselves about some of the greats. And we see that with some of the younger rappers now, kind of being a little dismissive towards, you know, your, your Biggies, your Tupac's, your Jay-Z, your Nas's. Do you think that that history lesson is important for those younger artists that are looking to reach a JD kind of level? I mean, I think that the, 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 the most important, uh, well, the lines that you just said was educate yourself. They're not going to educate themselves. That's what people don't understand. That's why it's important for this TV show. So when people ask me, how long is the rap game going to last? As long as it needs to last because it's an education for these people that you're talking about. And as much as JD loves guiding the next generation of talent, when looking back on hip hop in Atlanta, he gets a bit nostalgic. I think it's important that people understand that Atlanta was a city that people didn't think was cool. You know, at the time when I first started putting out records from Atlanta, people was hating on me. They was telling me that, you know, you need to move to LA, you need to move to New York if you really want to make this pop for you. Atlanta ain't popping and da 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 da. During that time, was there ever a song or a moment you remember that really kind of defined what it meant to be doing what you were doing in Atlanta? Nah, but I mean, I tried to, you know, I tried to capture that in Welcome to Atlanta, but unfortunately, all the stuff I'm talking about in it, that, is gone, so it's like, um, when people hear the song, they like, well, where's this stuff at? Because it don't even exist anymore. Welcome to Atlanta where the players play And we ride on them things like every day Big beats hit the streets, see gangsters roaming And parties don't stop till 8 in the morning What created all the heat for the city is not there anymore. Like, yeah, the city's hot and it's popping, but it doesn't have the same um, culture Thing jumping out of it that it that it did when I was telling people you should do an award show here and you should do this and then people was like what and I'm like just come for a week and see what's going on I don't know if you come for a week you'll see or you'll feel the same way you felt unfortunately we can't go back to the good old days but JD is focused on making sure the future is full of hot fire check out season three of the rap game premiering on lifetime Friday January 13th at 10 9 central for HipHollywood.com, I'm Vanessa Barnett.